I'm in Toronto, back home for the first time in over four years. Here at Christmas or in the winter, the first time in 10 years. It's a little bit cold. I've had, except for a visit here at Christmas in 2009, I've had 13 years of great weather. I haven't been cold for a long, long time. So I'm gonna see if I can put this, put together this little tour. So I'm walking downtown Toronto now. I'm on Young Street. And uh, first stop, I'm gonna go to the Hockey Hall of Fame. All right, I've made it into the Hockey Hall of Fame. And the first thing I see in my book, the greatest goalie ever, Ken Dryden, number 29. I grew up as a kid in Montreal. I went to Canadians games. My dad used to take me. And there he is, that's iconic. Oh, that brings me back. I met him when I was a kid. I was probably seven or eight years old. He lived not too far from where I lived in Montreal. And my dad took me to a park and Ken Dryden was there playing with his uh, son or daughter. And uh, I remember my dad was talking to Ken Dryden and I came over and he said hello to me. I was in Montreal and he's, uh, he's Ken Dryden. Best goalie ever for me. And they've got this Gordy Howe slash Wayne Gretzky exhibit. Very cool in the Hockey Hall of Fame. For anybody who doesn't know hockey, you can't compare Wayne Gretzky to anybody. You could say he's the Michael Jordan of hockey, or the, what, I don't know, Muhammad Ali was to uh, boxing, or Babe Ruth was to baseball. I don't even think that's close. Those are all disputable. Wayne Gretzky is indisputable. 378 goals when he was 10 years old, 517 points. He got, uh, I don't know all his numbers, but I know he, he got 92 goals in, I can't remember what year, but that was a record, 212 points. This was at a time when, when getting 100 points was a big deal. And he got uh, 212, and when getting 50 goals was a, was a milestone, he got 92. It was 92 in 32 games. I remember a lot of Wayne Gretzky numbers. Uh, I remember when he got traded from the, the Oilers to the Kings in, uh, I think it was July 88 or no, August 88, I think. It was 88 for sure in the summer. And you could argue that uh, Gordy Howe is the greatest. I wouldn't, maybe that's just because of my generation. But uh, he, he, his, he, he played a lot longer. He played until he was... 60 or something. Look at, he, he was, I don't know how old he is in that picture. He was probably pretty young. I don't know too much about Gordy Howe. He was before my time. He was a grandfather playing there with the Hartford Whalers. Mr. Hockey. If anybody knows the Gordy Howe hot, uh, Gordy Howe hat trick. Goal assist in a fight. It's pretty cool. Howe was born in 1928 in Florida, Saskatchewan. He was brought up in a home, which he's proud to point out, and didn't even have running water. How? Gretzky, Danbowski. Three Canadian icons. Alright, I'll see what else I can find in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Cool place this is, I love it. I was here like 20 years ago. I met uh, Steve Shutt, one of my favorite players ever, also from the Montreal Canadiens in the 70s. Number 22. And uh, I was here and I met, actually I didn't meet him here. I came here with my dad and my brother and we went to a steakhouse after and Steve Shutt was in the steakhouse. And uh, I met, hello, met, said hello to him. And uh, that was pretty cool. Carrying on. Next stop on the Hockey Hall of Fame tour is the uh, Montreal Canadiens dressing room. Dressing room in the Montreal Forum, the old Montreal Forum. I went there when I was a kid. My dad took me to a lot of games. That was where I knew about Ken Dryden, the aforementioned Ken Dryden. 
These are the older guys. I didn't know too much about them. Except this guy, Rocket Richard. Look at that, number nine, Maurice Richard. This guy played uh, probably one of the, the best uh, top five, maybe top ten for sure, hockey players ever. You could maybe say the, the number one Montreal Canadian ever. This guy came to, I used to work at a place, this was in the early 90s, and uh, I worked at a place, and he was coming to do an autograph signing, and they, they knew uh, I was a big hockey fan and, and from Montreal. So they asked me if I wanted to do the honor of going to pick up Rocket Richard from the airport. He was flying into Toronto from Montreal. And I went and I picked him up in my car, uh, drove him all from, from the airport in Toronto back to Guelph, and uh, took him to my parents' house to meet my dad. My dad used to be a referee, not in the NHL, but I think he was up in the, I can't remember, but I think they had some mutual friends anyway. So I, took him, I took him to the house to meet my dad. My dad wasn't there. Um, but I was taking him out, Rocket Richard, out to lunch, and I left a note from my dad saying we were there, so my dad came and saw us and uh, talked to Rocket Richard. So I spent the day with Rocket Richard, it was great. And there again is Ken Dryden. Iconic. And I want to show something over here. This is, uh, this is the Dynasty Room. They call this the Dynasty Room. It features some of the, the great dynasties. The Oilers, five in, in seven years. The uh, Islanders, four in a row in the 80s. And uh, I'm going to show here. I'm going to start with this one. Montreal Canadiens, five consecutive. 55, 56, 56, 57, 58, 57, 58, 58, 59, 60. So five in a row. Through the 50s. And then into the, moving into the 60s, they had four in five years, from 64 through 69. And oh, there's Rocket Richard again. There it is. Oh, I just pulled up one front and dumped the luggage on. I said, can you hold on to this luggage? And the last one over here, this is from my era. Uh, in the 70s, four more. This is in my time. I went to some of those games. And uh, so, so all those, they had four or five Stanley Cups in three consecutive decades. Where are the Toronto Maple Leafs? Because I always hear Toronto Maple Leafs fans talking about how they're the best franchise ever and the most iconic franchise. And I don't care. This is not even opinion. This is a fact. It's not even close. If you think about the, uh, not just the Stanley Cups, the Art Ross Trophy winners, the uh, conference titles, division titles, scoring leaders, uh, all the awards, all the Hall of Famers, all the, all the greats. Sorry, Leafs fans, and I'm one of you. I, I like both teams. I think I'm one of the few. But the, the Canadians, they're the greatest, ho they're the greatest hockey team ever. It's not the Leafs, so stop it. Stop it, Leafs fans. There's a group of kids watching hockey. How about that? A group of kids, a lot of whom appear to be from uh, other countries, watching hockey. I love it. Take that, Don Cherry. This is what I like to see. All right, I think that'll be it from the Hockey Hall of Fame. Got your fine trip.
The next stop on the tour, St. Lawrence Market. A lot of people will tell you, including me, that uh, at some point, some years ago, maybe five years ago or something, this was voted by, I think it was National Geographic, to be the best food market in the world. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. This is a really good place for anybody that comes to Toronto. Come see it, not just for food or market, but uh, Canadian stuff like this, eh? Canadian souvenirs. Brazilian mangoes. And uh, the famous, I guess this is what it's famous for, is the female bacon sandwiches. Excellent market. I'm gonna walk around here. Not much to see here, but this is iconic. It's the Toronto Eaton Center. I spent a lot of my youth there, my teen years. Here at the Eaton Center. Coming up to Young and Dundas, the center of the universe. Or maybe Young and Bloor is the center of the universe. Anyway, coming up to Young and Bloor, which is, uh, sorry, Young and, Young, Young and Dundas, which is Dundas Square. I can smell somebody smoking weed. I think it's maybe the guy, oh, I don't see him, which is legal in Canada. You can walk down the street smoking weed, which is pretty cool, cool country. Here's uh, Dundas Square, Young and Dundas. That guy's smoking weed for sure. One, one last look before I head to my next destination, which I'm not sure what is next. It's cleared up, it's still cold, maybe minus two or three, but clear skies. Downtown, Chinatown.
Look at this beauty. I'm at the uh, Top Gun. Where is it? Top Gun Burgers in Toronto. I came to this place in uh, 2015. I think I had already eaten or I was about to eat. I had plans to eat with somebody else. And I was walking by this place, looked in, loved it, talked to the owner. His wife was from Mexico. I told him I would come back. And here I am, uh, almost five years later, back. And uh, this is a... Why do I have to show myself? The burger is good enough. Let me go back to this. So I haven't even, um, haven't even tried it yet, but yes, highly recommended Top Gun.